welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathy Jarvis and you are at Life at Sunny Lee with Kathy Jarvis. And today we're going to talk about one of the things I really dislike and that is ordering clothes online. Sometimes you just have to and that turned out to be the case on this. I wanted a nice dress to wear to a uh, party that's coming up and I couldn't find anything in our town so I found one online and I thought oh that's so pretty I really like it so I checked their size chart and I looked at it and I go man I don't think so but you know that's what they say it's equivalent to the US size so that's what we'll go with well this was their equivalent to the or my size Look at this. It's gigantic. It's huge. You know, and I had a choice of either sending it back, which would have meant it wouldn't go here in time for the uh, party, or I could take it in myself. And since I know how so, I decided that was the best option. Now, there's a couple ways I can do this. I could go and stand in front of a mirror like this and I could go and I could pin on each side how much I wanted to take in. The only problem with that is it's hard to do with just one person. It works best if you have more than someone that can pin it for you and then you guys shimmy out of it and not get the pins on the floor or to get stuck with them. So I'll show you a better way of getting a dress down to size. First thing you have to do is find a dress that actually fits you. Preferably one that's sleepless. All right. Be right back. I gotta change out of this one. All right, we're back. First thing you need to do is turn your oversized dress inside out. Once you have it inside out, get your seams, your shoulder seams, get those up, lay it on a flat surface. Lay the whole dress out completely. So your dress is going to be laid out completely on a flat surface. And now you're going to take your good dress that fits and place it over the top. Now this space between here and here is what you're going to be removing from the original dress. Now what you could do if you're really confident in how you want this is that you can take and just cut across here and then put your seam line in. Or you can take and measure with pins 
and baste this. Try it on, make sure it work, hangs the way you want it. Then come back and sew your seams and trim the excess off. And that's what I'm gonna be doing with this dress. So, I'm gonna go get my pins. Okay, it's important to measure and make sure you're taking the same amount off on both sides. You don't wanna take a whole bunch off on one side and not the same amount on the other side. So once you get it pinned, you can take your good dress off of it. I usually count the pins to make sure I know how many I have so that when I start to sew, I don't lose any. And now we're going to go over to the sewing machine and we're going to baste this line in through here all the way down on both sides. We'll try the dress on, make sure it hangs the way we want, and then we'll come back in and take and do the final stitching and then do the trim. Now when you're doing the stitching, make sure that all your seams line up so that when you go over the stitch, when you make a seam, it will be the same on both sides. So off to the sewing machine. Okay, one thing you want to make sure is that if it's a um, dress that goes over your head, make sure that you allow enough space for it to go over your head. So, once you've tried it on and you've decided that that's the way you want it to be, go ahead and sew the seams and make sure that you um, stay stitch the edges of them, edge stitch the edges of them so they don't unravel. All right, we've got all the alternations, alternations done on the dress and it now fits the way I want it to. Um, my other camera died, so I may have to go with the big mirror and this phone camera. So bear with me as I turn you around. All right, this is a dress once it's had the alternations made. You'll notice that it does not gap underneath the sleeves. The sleeve is not way down here anymore. It's up where it's supposed to be. It doesn't gap across here and it fits the way I want it to fit. Okay, I would like to have been able to take it in a little bit more around the waist, but it's over the head dress that does not have much give stretch to it, so you had to allow enough to get it over your head. Now, one thing to do when you're making when you're making alternations is do not cut the fabric away from the seam until after you've tried it on and it's exactly the way you want it. Now, I've got Right now, I've got all the extra material still on here. So I tried it on, I like the way it is. So I'm gonna go back to the sewing, cam sewing room, cut the seam allowances, um, stay, not stay stitch, edge stitch the seams so they're finished, and then the dress will be finished. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned something on how to make a dress that's way too big for you down to the right size. And of course, like I said before, I could have sent these back, but they were all, they were not expensive dresses. I would pay this much for material alone to make this dress. So I'm not out anything by experimenting with it and trying to make it smaller, which I managed to do. So if you know anything about sewing at all take your time start with an inch to two inches just keep taking off what you need to use i took off two inches on both sides of this dress to make it the way i want it so it's not impossible to do if you don't feel comfortable find yourself a seamstress that will do it for you uh, remember if you're ordering anything off online that the measurements may not be what you want because I've ordered dresses before and they've come in the right size. And this one just was completely off. So I hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. 
subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost anything. And remember, like always, dream big and follow that dream. Bye, everybody.